I rarely travel for work, but today I have to travel up to Columbus, Ohio. What a gorgeous place. I've never been before, never been to Ohio. Who would be going to Ohio? So I'm going there for the MLS All-Star Week, but one of the key, well, okay, there are two things. One, I wanna try and make sure as many things are in order as possible to make it as easy as possible for Shay when she's at home with the kids. And two, I have no idea what to expect when I get there tonight. And three, so there are three things, Oliver. I wanna try and see what free stuff you can get from the hotel. So if I don't take toiletries and I don't take charging cables, I've seen so many things on social media that you can pick those things up from hotels because they just have an abundance of them. So we're gonna test that out later. Oh look, here's my flight for today. My airplane. <laughs> Uh, mission number one is to get some of this ointment for one of the boys so that Shay doesn't have to go and get it. I'm also not one to not be prepared. I try and be as prepared as I can. So I am going to pick up a few of the essentials just in case. But your Max Fresh. Uh, sure. I also think Crest are one of the sponsors for, for the MLS All-Star event. I guess toothpaste is the only one I really need. Sure. I've done a lot of things over the past few days to get things ready. But one thing I did yesterday was buy lots of bottled water. The water from the fridge in our house isn't coming out as fast as it should do. And it takes a long bloody time to fill up. And so my thinking is if I can do the small things that make it easier for Shay, like in this case, buying bottled water so she can take it from the fridge and go like that. It's the small things that make a huge difference when you have the two kids to look after. This is my thought on going away. All right, we have a security breach. This guy. What's up, Kobe? So, I'm gonna describe what life looks like for my wife and I. Typically, hi, Kobe. And each screw represents an hour, 24 hours in a day. Red is gonna represent sleep. Hello, you coming to help? <laughs> Excuse me, mister. I wake up at 5 a.m., so we're gonna start at midnight. So come 5 a.m., I'm then gonna do a little bit of work before the boys wake up. It's 6.30 right now, he's been up for about 30 minutes. So blue is gonna represent either me doing work or Shay being a stay-at-home mum. So we've got two hours of work and then we'll have an hour of dual parenting represented by green. This is for breakfast. Like when everyone's up, bit of time to collect as a family before we start doing our duties. One, two, eight a.m., one p.m. So by 4 p.m., I've finished work Shay's finished as the single stay-at-home mother and we start to transition into dual parenting from 4 p.m. through till 8 p.m. And then to finish it all off, yellow represents downtime. So kids asleep. You asleep, misters. We've got one hour of that. <laughs> okay, he's got the drill, so I'm just screwing this in. Red is sleep. Blue is work or stay-at-home mum. Green is dual parenting. Yellow is downtime with no kids. There's not a lot of that. So for me, if I can make these blue parts easier for Shay as a stay-at-home mom, that's what I want to be able to do. This is an example. When I see guys that don't see, that don't share all the responsibilities of looking after kids, hey, what the hell are you doing? You chose to have a kid, that's your shared responsibility. And you should do what you can to make life easier for your partner. And they should be doing the same for you. But now I'm gonna try and pack everything before the other monster wakes up. Little monster Covies. <laughs> Thank you. A uh, cute little fun fact. I've heelied down here before. It's a nice little hill going down to where our gate is. May I have your attention the board launch shows. All right, what is this? This was the old way, the old the old formula that I used to use for TikToks. I've developed this since then, and this is why this looks so messy. But essentially, this gives me the storyline that I can use to then generate whatever script I want to make the whole TikTok experience. That's what I go off. And I call it a formula because it really is. You just plug in. It's essentially like having... What's the best way to put it? It's a strategy. You do this and then this and then this and then this. So whatever this is, you fit in what happened in your storyline and based on what is required in this position. So let's give an example. Here, you have the point of no return, which is the point for me, which I let the viewer know that the story has begun. What has happened in the hook, so what I've told them is gonna happen, is now happening. So there's no reason to click off. Next, you have the catch. Once they start doing this, what goes wrong? What makes the person, so me in this whole story, what makes me second guess doing this whole thing? 
because you want the viewer to see that the person's progressing, but they've hit this massive barrier. How are they going to continue? And then you just keep going forward. Uh, our flight's a bit delayed. And then I think I've got a bit long to wait in Charlotte, but the plan for later today has changed. Instead of going to this partner's lounge thing, there's no events for us to go to tonight. But I did see that there's a Dixer hosting some kind of event. Hang on. Right, so join us for street soccer, a youth clinic, an adult tournament, and a player appearance to celebrate All-Star Week. Do I really care about all of that? No. I'm somewhat interested to see what's going on, but I really want to network with someone from Dick's. I like a good dick. Thank you, have a good one. That's what we're here for. The green one, the green one. All right, we've got Hassan whipping the Honda Odyssey. Ooh. 0.7 miles away. How you doing, sir? Yeah, Hassan, how are you doing? Beautiful. Hassan, thank you very much. You have a good evening. All right, all right, all right thanks. Have a good one. All right, apparently it's inside, but I have some time to kill before I meet up with Chandler, who's my contact at the with the MLS. Cool guy, too. You're not who I wanted to talk to. Hi, Rugi. Are you being a good boy? Okay. Uber dropped me off like a mile or two away from it, so I've made it back over here to the dicks. Got some Slim Shady going on that I can hear, and I can hear, uh, I think you call him an MC? Some dude on the mic, tripping fat bars. He's not tripping fat bars, he's just saying what's happening. <laughs> All right, let's see this place. The Dicks looks more like a fast pro shop. Jay hawking across this road. Nothing better than turning up to the scene with a suitcase. Look at this place. All right, there's the Dicks in the distance. If you can see, it looks more like fast pro shops. I'm gonna turn this on. Yes, I did. Okay, heading up to the room now. Met a few of the guys. What is this? I essentially just met a few of the other creators who are going to be working on this with us too. It's called sit down and have a chat, but I am done so. It's about 10.30. Find my room crashing. Let's have a quick look at the, ho at the room. Oh, darn it. I'm going to ask at reception if they have any of the free stuff. No, I'm sorry. I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning. I wanna to speak to Shay before she goes to bed. Sorry if you're waiting for that. Where the hell do I go from here? Everything's all st oh, that's because the hotel was kind of rented out for it. <laughs> Hello, sausage. Four am I? Seven. Here we go. Oh. Alright, nice bathroom shower. Nice little look at this. You can't see it. Got my name on it. We're gonna look around the room. Lovely jubbly. I don't know why that's up there. Hello, Oliver. Into the bathroom. Not particularly bright, but a lovely little shower room. Okay. Night night.